everyone, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and I'm doing your weekly healing reading. This will be a pick your card reading. Um, I have three groups of cards for you to pick from. We do send out healing on a Sunday evening from the Spiritual Centre. So if you'd like your name added to our list, then please put your name in the comments and we'll add you to our healing list. Um, the reading will hopefully give you some guidance for what's coming up this week and the energies that are around you this week. Okay, all I need you to do is to focus on the three groups of cards that I have in front of me and feel which one you're drawn to. I'd like you to take a deep breath in. Allow your energy to settle and then just feel. Are you drawn to group one, group two, or group three. I'll just leave you for a few seconds to help you connect. Hello group one. Okay, so the cards that we have for your reading for your week ahead is the oak tree. And the words are strength, nobility, history, wisdom, and all knowing. And from the small acorn, a mighty oak tree grows. We also have rest. You've been working too hard. It's time to take a nap and get some rest. Okay, so let's have a look at those in more detail. Okay, so with the oak, I feel independence is a good word for you this week. The oak is always a slow burner, but it's also very solid. So it's like making those foundations solid. So anything that you put into practice this week will have long-term benefits but it will also be slow to grow. The oak also signifies family, the home, and also feeling protected and being protected and being around those that you love. Now, if you have a question this week, take yourself out into some nature, find yourself a nice old oak tree and spend some time with it because the oak will impart its knowledge for you and use this time to reflect and ponder. And I feel that by the time you leave the oak tree, you will have clear direction for your future pathway. So especially if you have a question that you want an answer to this week, then go and find yourself a lovely old oak tree. Now with the rest card, I feel that it is time to slow down. There is no rush. This is about being patient, being gentle on yourself, and this card also mirrors the oak perfectly because it's slow and steady. The key to this week is slow and steady. And I do feel that there is a need to declutter your life. And that's not just a spring clean, but this is a proper declutter. Get rid of everything that you do not need to hold on to. You have so much stuff. Just let it go. There is no rush this week, there is no urgency. So it's about taking rest, taking your time, having space and also time for just you as well. Okay, so they're the two cards that were in the pile. And we now do the Celtic Cross as well, the tarot. And the tarot deck that I'm using is the Illuminati tarot deck. Very bright, very colorful the deck I was drawn to for your healing reading okay so let's see what guidance we can get for you group one from the tarot I do have my lovely piece of amethyst on the table as well so I do feel that amethyst is a, a crystal that is uh, relevant for all three of the groups this week okay your first card here and now this is why I love doing tarot is the Prince of Pentacles and if we look at him on his horse he's going nowhere and that is literally your message you're not going anywhere stay where you are there is no need to go anywhere 
this week. This is about being um, putting things off, even procrastinating, letting things just slip by as they will. Okay, so any challenges you have, and we have that sun, and I do feel that there will be new beginnings, there will be new offerings, there will be new options for you. Uh, but don't jump at every opportunity that's given to you. Don't jump at every um, invitation that's given to you as well. This is being picky. This is choosing where you're going and what you're doing and who with. Okay, your spiritual goal is the Eight of Pentacles. And it's hard work. It's to get where you want to be. I feel that if we was to look at a mountain, it's almost as though you're halfway. I feel like if you were numbers one to six, you're at number four. So you're at this space, but you're at this space where you need to just take a rest. But everything else below it is good. It's not new beginnings as in complete changes. It's just, I wouldn't even say it's not stagnation. It's just a rest period. You're resting on the ledge before you go that bit further. In your hidden what's hidden from you is the two of swords i absolutely love this card because this is the card of intuition and using your own instincts and trusting actually it's a card of trust trust in knowing that you are doing the right thing so there is two options for you to choose this week two options just trust and know that you're doing the right thing the seeds that you plant this week will grow into mighty oaks your strengths we have the queen of cups i love this when this comes in strength position because this means you're totally in control of your emotions um and your reactions to people it's also the card of looking at things from every possible angle, um, scrutinizing, going through everything. And this is the strength that you have. So I don't feel that you need to do that this week because you've got that strength. Um, it's just a simple case of trusting in what you know. Externally, we have the six of wands, which is celebrations. And I feel that this is everybody around you. This is you triumphant on on this horse and this is everybody around you looking up to you and i feel that that could well be just around family as well of or close friends this is everybody looking up to you and what you've achieved and how you've achieved it your steps for going forward your options we have judgment i think it's the first major of arcana majors are Oh, no, we have the sun as well. The sun in your challenges. Okay. And the next card on from the sun is, is judgment. So this is about letting go. These are coffins from the past, things that have gone before. Put the lids on them, shut the lids, let them go. And I do feel that with the decluttering that I felt with you, there is could well be memories of a loved one as well i do feel that there's we all want to hold on to memories of our loved ones but we don't need to keep everything so that's like maybe a small memory box instead of keeping everything there's things to be sorted out with a loved one that's passed here okay so your way forward from here your immediate steps are the king of wands and the king's a very passionate man. He's put his energy into his life purpose and what he wanted to do. He's used all that creative, bubbly energy to be in that position of strength and knowing who he is. And I feel that this is you. You know who you are. I don't feel, I know you may have a question this week, but this is not about you as a person. You're very strong, you're very independent, you're very capable, you're very reliable. And I feel that that need for some rest and peace, which again, which is why I love the tarot, because the two cards go together. Temperance is the healing angel. 
that need for rest, that need for spiritual energy to come through as well. And a great exercise that I want to give you. Um, I've got. I don't know if you're into crystals. If you are, let me get my, which always sits with me when I do my readings, is my piece of clear quartz. Clear quartz is the crystal of clarity and divine energy as well. And I feel that all you need to do to find that peace and balance is to take a deep breath in and just imagine a ball of pure white light above your head. And then as you imagine that ball of white light, pull that energy into your aura. You can actually see that in your mind's eye, that energy is coming down into your aura. Allow that white energy to fill your whole body. And as it fills your whole body, allow it to expand out into your aura to allow your aura to increase as well. It's a really short form of an exercise that I do both morning and night time is just to clear your energy fields with pure bright white light from spirit. If you don't have a crystal, you don't need to use a crystal. If you use a crystal and you program your crystal to clear your chakras, to balance your chakras, to clear your energy fields, then obviously if you hold it, it's programmed to do that. And so when you set that intention, it just amplifies that. You can use any crystal as well. There are no set star in stone what crystal you can use for what. You can use one crystal to program it for all of your spiritual activities. I also have, which sits with me on the table as well, a crystal clear quartz pendulum for your yes no answers and i know we spoke about going underneath the oak tree this year this week i'm going to do a little quick spirit and inspire me to give you a yes no answer if there's an a question that you have this week and you want a specific yes no answer okay please can you show me whether it should be a yes or a no for this reading I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but my pendulum is swinging backwards and forwards, which for me is a yes. But I would go to the oak tree and get that confirmed for yourself as well. Okay, back to your reading. Um, but yeah, bring in that balance, bring in that pure white light from the angels. Your final outcome is the nine of wands. What we said, about putting down the right foundations and being careful that you don't take on too much or, or build too much. I feel that there is a choice of two things. Don't take on them both, just take on one or you might know what those two are. But the final outcome is to reduce your, I want to bring out the king again. You want to be at the position of he gone how strange is that there he is the six of wands is victory the king of wands is being totally in control of his life purpose so i feel that this week is the ideal time to put all those things into action bless you group one hope you have a lovely week if the reading resonates with you please let me know in the comments i love to hear from you Thank you for watching. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading for the week ahead. Okay, so the cards that we have for group two are the willow tree, which has a beautiful swan as well. And the words are walk in beauty, sit in your power and dream time. And we also have pay attention. Notice repetition signs, repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this will yield valuable information. Okay, so what else can we get from those cards for you? 
um okay so with the willow the willow symbolizes femininity and knowing your own power and your own importance and the willow will bend and sway in the wind however the bark is so hard it doesn't break and it's almost as though you're being pushed you're being pushed but you you're not going to be broken I feel that your reactions to people will be tested this week and there is someone around you who's looking for a fight or looking for an argument but again don't be swayed by their behavior this is allowing your light to shine through and for you to hold your head up high as well and don't be afraid to show people the real you this week because this is about walking in your own beauty and with the card pay attention I feel that um, straight away when I, I look at the card when I started to develop spiritually I was always told if you hear it once you tend to let it go if you hear it twice you'll kind of realize it's a sign but then when you hear it three times you really do need to take notice the message is being you're being shoved by the universe and I feel this week this is going to happen for you you will hear something or there will be a particular sign and it won't happen once not twice but it will happen three times and when you hear it or see it for the third time this will be your concrete message and if this happens for you this week please let me know in the comments because I have an extra message to give you as well so really let me know if this is you that um, gets that sign gets that message three times please come back to reading let me know there is another message in there for you as well okay so let's have a look at what the tarot can guide you group to as well let's see what cards will come out I'm using the Illuminati deck okay three four five six seven eight nine ten and we have okay here and now we have the five of cups so I always feel with this card this card for me is to put he's looking down he's looking down at all these cups that have fallen over he has got a cup standing behind him but he's not taking no notice it's almost as though there's an emotional river to cross before he gets back home but actually he just needs to turn around and walk the other way and he will see this so here and now I feel that you need to just put, stand up, put your head up tall, which is exactly the message from the willow tree. Um, stand tall, um, be proud of you and walk in your own beauty. This is me. This is who I am. Okay. What's stopping you moving forward? The wheel of fortune, the card of destiny, the card of fate, the card of it's going to happen because it was meant to happen this is a part of what was meant to be for you okay i love it when the spiritual card comes out and it's the emperor because the emperor is the father figure for me this is that strong male presence in the spirit world guiding you this week um the willow is number four the emperor is number four the fours are strength stability security um this is almost like spirits saying i've got your back i've got you i will hold you up so this is this is dad this is dad without a shadow of a doubt this is dad who has this presence around you as well in your hidden we have the eight of cups and again if you look so this is very much an emotional feeling which is the same as the willow the willow always lives by the water it's and it's feminine with uh, the moon controls the tides and I feel that again this is a very much an emotional week for you um, the eight of cups again that's this is where we've got to that top of the mountain and We've only got a little more way to go, but there's something else there. We don't know what's around that corner. We can't really see what's around the corner. And I feel that um, you might not see what's just around the corner, but it is there. It's just there. 
just out of your touch your strengths wow again we have the hermit and again the moon is showing itself the moon is showing itself here 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 so this is very much influenced by the, the hermit is influenced the hidden teacher for the hermit is the moon card now this is your strengths and this is how powerful you are inwardly in your awareness in your spiritual development and how you shine that light for others you you are that guiding light for others your strength is being that guiding light for others there's almost people attracted to you um, like a magnet it's almost so people are pulled towards you for your wisdom and knowledge okay so externally there is that ending the ten of swords for a lot of people they see it as a not so nice card um, it is a sunset card but it's over it's done with and this is someone around you there's a situation with someone around you that has completely it's over they've got something that's quite dramatic it's finished it's done it's dealt with okay we have going forward your options the four of cups again he's sitting resting under the tree he's got the gift of love from spirit he's got spirits he's got love all around him here but it's a very defensive card he's just sitting there uh going through things going through his emotional feelings and spirit saying hey look we love you and this is about you noticing the love of spirit that's around you and the love that's around you from others as well immediate steps we have the devil for me and it is my own personal interpretation the devil is the key to freedom we see two people that are almost tangled in some kind of a relationship there that are tied the devil is temptation the devil is obsession the devil is these things are good for us the the devil isn't all bad but the devil does give you the keys to freedom as well so I do feel that your immediate steps is that you do need to break those chains, with, especially with someone around you, that, that that's done and dusted. Okay, how should you go about it? And we have the Prince of Pentacles. Again, he's a number four. Um, and I do feel that what I sense here is that you don't actually need to do anything. I do feel that it will work its way out. The outcome is the Ten of Wands. When we look at the tower in the distance, it's on fire here and he's, he's got so much here. I think this is a, I would say it's a warning, but it's a, just be careful that you don't take on, don't burden yourself with too much this week. Pay attention to the signs that Spirit give you. Pay attention, especially if there's a father figure in spirit. Pay attention to the signs that he's going to show you this week. Because this is the biggest message for group two. There is signs from spirit. They are coming from spirit. Again, I feel if you, this resonates with you and you see these signs three times, let me know in the comments because there's something extra that I have to give you as a separate message with that. Well, bless you, Group 2. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, have a lovely week, and I'll see you all soon. Hello, Group 3. Okay, so let's get on to your cards for this coming week. We have the birch tree, which is new beginnings, rebirth, and new ventures. I love the silver birch. I'm actually sitting looking at a silver birch in my garden it's about 30 feet high um and we have synchronicity your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events notice them in order to increase the flow okay so what else can we get from these cards for you okay 
I do feel that the silver birch, as we said, brings new beginnings and a rebirth. So there is transformation and also a transition this week. The birch is the tree of purity. And because of this, it will disperse any negative energy or emotions that are coming your way this week. I also sense a cleansing ritual for you this week. So whether that be um, a Himalayan salt bath, crystal cleansing, a walk in nature. But I do sense a shift in your own energy field. It will be lighter than it has been for the last few weeks or months. Because the silver birch is bringing that guiding light in for you. And it also brings that new doorway that you can either walk through or a new opportunity. And I do feel with um, the synchronicity card, there is no such word as coincidence. So this week, take notice of the signs around you because they're not there by chance. And the more you notice them, the more they will happen. This has come up in one of the other groups as well. But look for chance meetings. But with this particular group, I want you to look for an email or letter that's coming up this week. Um, because you will know that this is your sign and it's not your imagination. It's validation of your thoughts as well this week. Okay, so let's have a look at what the tarot can offer you as well this week. For group three, what experiences and events are going to happen? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so the first card that we have for you is the here and now. And we have the seven of pentacles. And I actually love this particular one because the pentacles are all the way around him. But he's, it's almost as though you're taking a step back and just contemplating, is this really where you want to be? Is this really what you want to do? And it's almost as though these are all the different seeds that you've planted. And I feel that you're now looking at which ones do you want to focus on? Which way, way should you go? You've tried a bit of this, bit of that. And it's almost bringing that in together of where your focus should be okay what's stopping you moving forward is the king of wands so i feel that this could have be a fire sign male um or i do feel it's perhaps your own not knowing your own purpose not knowing why you're here not knowing where you want to be next as well your spiritual goal we have another king and we have the king of swords I always feel when this card comes in the, this position for me um, and it's a spiritually related card, I feel that this is spirit, somebody in the spirit world that's guiding you. And I feel that this gentleman was as stubborn as an ox. Um, this gentleman that's in the spirit, I don't know how he's related to you. I wouldn't necessarily say he's father, but I say that he is a gentleman that was very stubborn, uh, very set in his ways very set in his beliefs he knew all the answers he knew um i wouldn't even say his knowledge was the truth and that's it he didn't listen i would say he didn't listen to other opinions but he didn't his opinions were set in stone he was adamant he was there was no messing with him and i feel that this is the uh uh spirit that they're giving you that strength there's no messing with you this week okay in your hidden we have the three of pentacles the three of pentacles for me is uh i always like to think that you need to watch the small print of anything now i've said to you before and it's just uh to look for an email or a letter this week this confirms to me that there's something hidden in there be careful what you're signing. Look at what you're signing. Look at what's being written to you, um, especially if it's about contracts or anything to do with something that you need to sign. Be wary before you sign it. Oh, in your strengths position, we have the major arcana, the world. Wow, you've got some powerful cards around you this week. This is a really powerful week for you. Because this is the world. So this is you being happy with who you are. No one can. Um, 
this is you being strong I, I don't feel necessarily even strong I feel that this is you blossoming this is you flourishing going out there just doing it okay how others could affect you and we have the magician the alchemist in this particular deck and they are going to see you as number one you are number one um the birch is number one but you are number one um and this is about putting your own uh stamp on it because i do feel that questions that you've had or the, the answers are coming okay your way forward this week the options you might have well you can look back and see what's going on uh, from the past looking at the past always looking backwards or you could actually turn around hold your head up high and look the other way to the future and what's coming that's a really strong message for you immediate steps cut those chains with anything that no longer serves you uh, declutter to get rid of pay attention pay attention to synchronistic events for me the devil is the keys to freedom um, so this is your spirit giving you this key to freedom so it's up to you what you do with it your approach look at everything the queen of cups is very in control of her emotions she's in control of everything it's very much a balanced card but this is you needing to look at everything from every angle look at um i'm going back to the email to the letter to what people are saying to you to even how they word things i feel that there's real um guidance going to be coming spiritually through this your outcome is the princess of swords so this is you being able to cut through nothing's going to bother you nothing's going to deter you nothing's going to stop you is the transition into a new way of thinking a new thought process i want one more card for your group three i feel there needs to be another card um i'm looking at my amethyst which has been in front of me for the whole of the readings this time and it just seems to be glowing it's all it's almost as though it's just come alive for this particular reading okay so this is the card that i wanted this is the strength card this is that transition card how will you cope this week by stepping outside of your comfort zone by doing things how you wouldn't normally wouldn't do them um i do feel that strength comes from patience but i don't feel patience is needed this week you don't need to wait get on it just be careful around anything that's written the written word be careful about what's being said by either letter or email but yeah remember that the birch brings that pure energy in as well so this is spirit working with pure energy for you this week bless you group three have a lovely week if it resonated please let me know in the comments please like and share and i'll see you all again next sunday